And I was evaluating my uh, windshield wiper setup here. And um, so I took this guy and it's just been, it's, it seems to be kind of rusted here. And I was just trying to see if I can, in any configuration of battery, if I could get this motor to work. I may just need to free it up. I could smell something, so you know, maybe, maybe this motor could possibly work if I can get this uh, not to be seized up. So I'll try uh, putting some WD-40 and turning it. All right, well, I got this thing to turn, but it just doesn't turn very freely. I think this thing is pretty frozen. I could turn that with a wrench. I was just trying for the hell of it to see if I could, uh, you know, connect this and. It does move, actually. I'm gonna keep trying to unfreeze this. Let's see what happens. As when I, uh, <laughs> look at this, I put this here. Okay, look really closely here. This frozen up windshield wiper mechanism. And as I do this, it is turning. So I'm gonna try to free that up, get this thing working. All right, sweet. Took this thing apart, I got the gear off. Just cleaning this out and I snapped off this thing and, and uh, basically I was looking at this thing on the inside, sprayed a little WD-40 in there and even though I know it's electric, I, I just wanted it to be um, able to turn because it was frozen up. And now, there's a bunch of grease in here, but check this out. So I, if I connect this one. It spins this gear here. So. Seems to work, so I'm gonna um, try to wire this thing back up and see if I can get it to actually turn the windshield wipers. Okay, so I got this um, motor. This is the windshield wiper motor, and um, this gear, so the motor turns this gear right here. I'm trying to get the goop out of there. There was a lot of grease and stuff in there. This is probably 60 years old, so. Um, not sure how much grease it actually needs in there, but. So, here's what I've got going. I, um, this is the gear. This gear, there's a little one and a, the, the big one. And it basically, the, the motor drives that. This goes in underneath. And then the whole thing slides down, screws on, and this will be the moment of truth. Uh, if I have fixed this, then I don't have to buy anything. There was a gasket on there, which is now off. Um, not sure how vulnerable that is to uh, getting wet, but let's try it. Hard, you know, sounds like windshield wipers are on. I'm not sure if there's a, what the different setting is.
I guess I don't totally understand uh, how this is wired, but it certainly seems to work if I if I go on this one and I ground the overall housing. I guess it's got to be a pretty strong motor to really push those wipers back and forth. And so I think this thing is, is good. Now I've got to um, figure out a way. I guess there's a, like a circlip that uh, goes on here that I'll have to uh, I'll have to figure out how to um, Attach that whether that's a thread or a clip here, but um, I should probably be able to get that to work. All right, well, I kind of um, cleaned this up, scrubbed it up. I I think I can use the same circlip on this as I have for the uh, speedometer at the hub, as I ordered a couple of those. But when I wire this thing up now. Um, and I think this top one is the is the highest speed for the windshield wiper. We're gonna see what happens there. Fabulous. And on the other side, that's where the uh, that's where these knobs are. So. You know, I just have to uh, make sure I get this um, this one, this thing here with the circlip. So that goes on on the plastic thing, and then a circlip goes around that, and then I should be good uh, with this. <laughs> 